one yellow-billed hornbill, we have two. And they, at the moment, have their heads down inside a termite mound, feasting on delicious termites. Now, the two of them were both eating, but the one that's now sitting up on the branch is feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit camera shy, but that's okay. At least this deranged-looking hornbill, I always think they don't look like they have all the screws in their their head. It always is like they're missing a couple of bolts. Look at those wild feathers, the big eyes, the long beaks. It makes for an interesting sight, but it does not inhibit the intelligence, the look that you get on the outside, because if any of you know much about termites, you'll know how full of fat and protein they are, so it is the most delicious and nutritious snack to eat when you're out in the bush. Lovely, isn't it? Come on, throw a termite up for us. Let's hope it gets a big soldier. It would be nice to see. At the moment, I think it's feeding on the workers, which are much smaller. That one looked quite big. That could have been a soldier. But all those termites now will be actually moving away. They won't stand and fight something like this. I think they realize that they're all just going to get eaten by one by one. So the workers will be racing back down to safety. The soldiers will be putting themselves between them and uh, the, well, the thing that's trying to eat them. So in this case, a hornbill. And eventually even the soldiers will mo move off. And what that hornbill might do is might keep, keep pecking at the, the softer uh, sort of sand that's recently been added to the mound. So around the entrances, typically it's quite soft. They're often opening and closing those. And they'll just break it away to open up more of the inside of those chambers where there will be more termites. But how cool is that? Hungry. Now I wonder how many termites it takes to fill the belly of a hornbill or to satisfy their hunger. Because I'm sure that they need quite a bit to fill up that crop. But you can see it looks like it's starting to get full now. The other one is missing out on some very good tasty food. Now, if any of you have ever eaten termites, they actually don't taste bad at all. They are not one of my favorite things to eat. Well, not any of the species up here. I don't know if I really want to eat a large fungus-growing termite. Oh, wow, there we've got a whole lot there. Did you see that? Yeah, we've got a bundle of termites. And uh, I like to eat the, the snouted termites. They're my favorite. They taste like mint crossed with coriander. They're quite delicious and really small as well. So you don't feel weird about putting an entire termite in your mouth. Because I think if you don't eat these correctly, this hornbill's lucky. It's got a big sharp, uh, not sharp, but a big beak to protect it. Whereas if we were to try and eat it, we'd have to make sure that we put it between our molars at the back and grind it. Because if one of those soldiers, the large fungus growing termite soldiers, gets hold of your tongue with its pincers, that is going, not its pincers, with its jaws, its mandible, that is going to hurt. And I've had one pierce the skin on my hand where the skin is very much tough it's not thin at all so I can't imagine what it would do to my tongue which is quite sensitive so we won't be eating any soldiers we'll leave that up to the aardvark we'll leave that up to the hornbills to do that type of thing well, tell me you don't look at that and you think that that's a funny looking animal Ah, so Sid and, and quite a few of you were actually wondering what is the size comparison between a yellow-billed hornbill and a chicken. Now, a chicken is much bigger, um, in, just in terms of body size. Obviously, a chicken doesn't have a beak anywhere near the size of a hornbill. There's very few birds out there that have beautiful beaks like that. Uh, so I would say let's go with two hornbills would probably equal a big rooster. So maybe one and a half hornbills would be the size of a, of a hen. And, and not particularly big chickens either, uh, but a little bit bigger than a bantam. I think bantams are not massive. I don't know actually the uh, types of breeds of chicken. Not a giant chicken. I was seeing um, pictures of these giant chickens that are around, which are actually quite scary. Viam, I must show you that. You'll enjoy that. It was something to show Viam when we get back. Um, so yeah, so I would say that's about the size. Let me look. Actually, while you're watching it, let me find out how much they weigh. I actually don't know how much a, a yellow-billed hornbill weighs, so I shall open up my mobile app uh, to get you those measurements. Let's let me go to hornbill. And thank you, hornbill, for sitting so nicely. Normally, they, they don't hang around for too long, especially when they're feasting like this. So they say 
that a southern yellow billed hornbill weighs 190 grams, sort of give or take or so. So, can somebody please do me a favor and find out how much a chicken weighs? An average chicken. Let's go for a rooster though. Let's do a measurement with a rooster. And then once you've got the answer of how much a chicken weighs, hashtag Safari Life. And then I suppose that'll be a good way uh, to then guess the weight difference. Um, but remember, these hornbills are actually not very big as the weight is just suggested. And, and that is also because of all of their feathers. They've got lots and lots of feathers would often make them look a little bit bigger than what they are. With all birds, it's the same thing with the chicken too. They look a lot more sort of robust. But when you strip away at the feathers, you realize that there isn't actually much... Uh, left on them. Very hungry, aren't you? I don't know where the other one has gone now. I hope that we didn't make ruin its breakfast, but it was it had its tail just coming out of that other hole there on the right. We, all we did, all we could see was literally just the tail feathers. So it had gone right on in there, but you can see there's no termites around the edge of that. They've all been chased in. Oh right. Right, Steph has been searching for a bird. He's finally found it. Let's go across to him.